So we are fully up and running in, in the winter WSL window. Now, um, we've already had Gemma Bonner come in, a return to Liverpool. But first confirmed deal of the calendar year is is Beth England to, to Spurs from Chelsea. England was at, was at Chelsea for, for seven years, seven very successful years. But over the years, over the last few years, we've seen her playing time rapidly diminish. And it took England a little while to break into that Chelsea team as well. So it kind of... It, it's 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 an unfortunate way sort of to bookend her her time at a club where she really sort of made a name for herself when when she joined from from the Donny Bells. That it's kind of just been blips and blobs of playing time rather than being a, a consistent starter and really showing what she's about week in week out. You know this was a, a move that was on the cards uh, before the start of last season. Uh, England also I think had some some loan offers. She could have gone somewhere on a part term a part time deal and. Still been a Chelsea player, but she 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 opted to stay loyal to to the Blues. But you know, we've seen her time for England, her chances with the Lionesses really really kind of fall away with her lack of playing time at Chelsea, and with with Ellen White's retirement, I think it 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 really opens up the chance, and, it, and it's about being that player to step up to show their consistent performances. Now, there was a lot of talk about, say, having uh, Alessia Russo, maybe Ebony Salmon, seeing Lauren James more often for England now that White has retired. But if you're sort of playing a similar system and you want that, that more sort of straightforward centre-forward who can fulfil the, the, the White role, if you will, then you, you've got Beth England who, who, who knows the number nine role. Um, and she should be a regular starter for Spurs. There's no reason her her name shouldn't be on the team sheet every match. And they this is this is something Spurs are desperate for as well. Is is a goal scorer. They've they've only scored in three league games so far this season. And if you put the the eight nil against Brighton aside, they scored two goals, um, both against Leicester on the opening day. Their other their other win was was against Liverpool by way of an own goal. Their, their their top goal scorers are Drew Spence and Ashley Neville. I mean, Owen Neville is is naturally a fullback. So what Spurs have been needing is a goal scorer. What they've been desperate for is a goal scorer. Now they haven't always set up in the most logical way, Spurs. So hopefully uh, Skinner will, will kind of come back and say, right, well, Beth up top, and then we can build and we can funnel the ball to her and, and use her as a decoy at points because they do have good options as well in terms of of, of wider players. Although Spurs. You have to say this season have been very unlucky with with, with serious injuries that have really sort of stemmed their, their their ability to be creative. But having England in the squad, she she will score goals. You can't stop Beth England from scoring goals in WSL. It, it's just about them getting the balance right, and that should really help them as they are kind of languishing in the table right now. But I think this is this is a move that that, that helps everyone, um, even though. England, when she featured for, for, for Chelsea, was still doing bits. This this gets her playing week in week out, which is you know what 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 footballers love to do. It will get her a serious look in for, for for England as well if she performs well for Spurs and and hopefully she can just get she she's sort of one of the first pieces to get that Spurs team making a lot more sense when when they take to the pitch because their last few games before the the the, the Christmas break they looked incredibly sort of blunted and they just you wondered where the goals would come from if they were if they were going to score so hopefully this this answers the question the goals are going to come from Beth England without putting too much pressure on her hopefully this is this is more about finding the balance in the squad as well thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content and live streaming subscribe to ESPN plus